In today's video, we're going to be canning some moose meat. The cutting of the moose meat? Yes. Putting it in jars. We use this so the top of the jars stay nice and clean and they seal properly. Stuff away. <laughs> Stuff those jars, dear. Pack it to remove the air pockets, leaving about an inch of space at the top. So, so we got all the meat in the jars. Now we're gonna season them. What are you doing there, Chase? Quarter teaspoon of salt. Most people recommend a half, but we are going to add Montreal steak spice and broth. And there's salt in both of those, so we don't want it to be overly salted. So now we're gonna do a healthy quarter tablespoon of Montreal steak spice. That's the one we use. Next, we're just gonna put like a dash of uh, rosemary. So we like the flavor. And some bay leaves. Topping it off with a beef broth. So we got all the spices in there. I just want to note like that before we put all the meat in here, we did sanitize these in our dishwasher and it has the, the hot heat. We have our lids uh, boiling. They were boiled, but we're going to reboil them. And Chase is just wiping the tops of the jars so you get the proper seal. We got a good boil going on. Yeah, our pro tip for this video would be put the lid right side up. It makes it easier to take them out with the magnet. And when you screw these down, don't screw them on crazy tight. Pressure cooker, mm. always check your seal. Make sure it's good, not damaged, because you don't need this thing blowing up. God, no. Add water to the bottom. Roughly two inches. Add your jars in. You want to space them out so they're not touching. And of course, we have one extra One jar. extra on top. One lone soldier. So, we've got our jars in. Get the lid on. Like you get the lid on. <laughs> Make sure it locks. Yeah. It's on. Turn so, it on high heat, right? Yeah. We'll turn it on high. Do not put your weight on until you got a steady, solid stream of steam. Yeah. coming out of it. So we're gonna wait for the steam and then we'll show you what it should look like and, and then, then we'll put our And this is not a steady stream of steam. See how it stops and then starts and stops and starts. We have a steady stream. It's been going for 10 minutes exactly now. And you put your weight on. And this thing should start rocking when the pressure builds up. But you don't start your time until this starts to rock. So and it's the, the, still gotta build up the pressure inside. Yeah, the time is 90 minutes once it starts rocking. And a continuous rock for the whole 90 minutes. There's that rock, and then it lets out steam. All right, so our alarm went off. 90 minutes is done. Shutting her down. Now, that's it. Yeah, that's it. All you do is leave it and let the that's pressure nice. slowly release. Eventually, this will drop and that's when it's okay to open it up. So it went down, so it's time. Pull it off. She's not blowing. Obviously, see it's still bubbling, bubbling in the jar. Yeah. Be careful. So Chase is still taking these out. What you do next is just leave them and they start sealing. 
You can hear them popping. One already just went. Once they cool, you um, check to make sure they all sealed properly. And then they're good to go, ready to eat. We'll probably leave them on the counter overnight and try some for tomorrow. Yeah, so if any jar doesn't seal. Oh, oh did you hear that? Yeah, I just watched it, it was this when it popped. Oh. What were you gonna say? If any jar doesn't seal, you eat it right away because it can't sit on the shelf. Oh God, no. But when they pop, they're good for, I believe, two years on the shelf. It's not like any meat around this house lasts that long, but. <laughs> oh. Did you get that? Did you record it? Yeah, Chase was cleaning. So it's 24 hours later and we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna do the guinea pig. <laughs> Uh, that's what you want to hear. The, the seal. It smells good. Mm. Is it tender? Yeah, well, it's falling apart. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Get your own jar. <laughs> that's right, good. Well, there you have it. Try it. Oh, yeah, it's good. I can see myself in the reflection. <laughs> Good. Done and done.